We're gonna talk about insecurity today. Yeah. I'm inspired. Yes, right. I'm inspired. Yes. Hey there guys, how's it going? My name is Sumai Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy and I'm a flow state coach, which means that I help you feel better and perform better. It's getting ready, man. Uh, I got a client and I'm about to do my dad's meditation class, which he does every other Sunday. So, super interesting insecurity, okay? It's brought up a lot. Insecurity is the cause of a lot of different issues. Like it can go into jealousy, it can go into anger, it can go into uh, spite. It can go into many different areas, right? It has a potential there. So our insecurity is like a spotlight, right? When we see the insecurity, now we have to work on making it secure and creating a foundation for it so that it's not an insecurity anymore. It's actually something we've managed in our lives, something that we've handled, okay? So instead of focusing on what the insecurity actually is, let's say that you have, let's say you don't like your nose, right? And you can't really change that and you don't want to get plastic surgery. You have to be like, hey, my nose is slightly crooked, but that makes me more attainable, right? And that reframing of the insecurity really gets you to, first of all, accept it. And once you accept it, you don't have this emotional negative charge towards it, right? You don't have this pull effect where you're like, ah, oh, it feels like a slingshot, right? It can have an impact. But rather you're like, hey, accept this flaw, right? Let me trademark it. Let me trademark this flaw, right? Like for instance, one of my biggest traumas ever, and I'm writing a song about this, was that I almost drowned when I was really young in like pre-K, right? Pre-kindergarten. And I remember my grandfather being there and I remember that I was in the swimming pool and I dove down, you know, this big slide and I couldn't swim and I started to drown and I saw blue bubbles and I saw the entire surface of that big pool. And I was a, I was a small kid, right? And so my friend Crit saved me at that time, I remember. He brought me up and then I, he transferred me over to the kiddie pool, you know. And it was such a scary incident that I almost lost my life. And I honestly thought that that was going to be the last thing that I would see was these blue bubbles. But then years, years, years later, I started to notice that, hey, okay, I'm slowly overcoming my fear of water. Where, like I still go to swimming classes and things like this. But then what was really interesting is... I made my entire brand flow, flow state, right? Flow, having to do with water, having to do with Bruce Lee's be like water uh, philosophy. Uh, I called my brand that splash life. So what did I do? I trademarked that trauma. I made my mess into my message in a sense, right? So it's very powerful when you can do this, man. That's the whole reason Batman became Batman, right? He was scared of bats when he was a child. I got the same idea from there I mentioned this in my book TPM as well, right? It's a very, very powerful technique when you can trademark your flaws. You can be like, hey, this is something that I've got and I've overcome or I am overcoming. So if you have a flaw, never be like, oh yeah, I have this flaw. Yeah, I have anxiety or whatever like label you want to give it, right? Instead of that, you want to be like, hey, I have this thing, but I'm working on it. Or I have this thing, but I'm planning to take these steps to correct it, right? And in that sense, what you're what you're basically saying to the world is, hey, I have a potential for healing and growth and expansion, rather than I have this label that I'm stuck with and I'm a prisoner for the rest of my life and you know this thing has happened to me and I, I'm so insecure about it and I can't talk to people and I can't do this and I can't do that. Instead of focusing on what's wrong, focus on what's right and also start to really expand this idea of like, hey, this is my flaw I'm gonna take ownership of it so that I can let it go, okay? You have to take, first of all, ownership of it. You have to say, hey, this is something that's bothering me. This is something that I need to correct. And also, this is something that's also going to get me to my next level and teach me one of the greatest lessons in my life because it's a prerequisite for me to actually turn up and show up and be the best and forget the rest, right? Have an incredible day. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. Let's get it today.